This lady who's going to take us on the free tour. It lasts about two hours. And it leaves and comes back to the square. The square is named for Jelicic, the governor of Croatia. This is the most important, well actually the most ancient source. People would come from the upper town down here to get the water. Long involved story. This is a symbol of Zagreb. It's not a real castle. It's parts of the old city wall. The town was actually established in 1093. That's the remnants of the big earthquake from 1880. There was once on the cathedral. Big destruction. There was only one tower which was destroyed. The clock stopped at exactly 7 o'clock when the earthquake took place. And that's basically the main area left of the old wall. Had their own bishop that was running the city, deciding upon all the matters. They had priests living here. For 20 like years, they've been replacing the limestone from the hills, which is not very good and, uh, for churches, with sand stone now, from Italy. Everyone, I so so uh, I, who knows when you're going to be able to go in. That tower completely collapsed in an earthquake a year ago, so then they dynamited the second tower by the army and took that off the so that would so fall on people or anything. Here's a place where they still the stroop. Like, uh, it's either sweet or, or salty. That's how you pronounce it. It's the only place that sells it. It's called like grandma's pastry. I tell you exactly. It takes time. Oh, this is great. Look at all the places to eat. The street is filled with bars, restaurants, and was originally a river. I think this one, Mira, was recommended. It looks like Mira is all cakes. In translation, this literally means the bloody bridge. Can you see the bridge? That was the bloody bridge. The stone gate is the entrance to the oldest part of the city from the 1300s, built on two hills. The stone gate was rebuilt after the big fire that swept the city in 1731, but it miraculously spared a painting of the Virgin Mary. So the gate became a chapel dedicated to the Mother of God with flickering candles of light and plaques of gratitude covering the walls. In, in ancient times, at least 200 women were convicted as being witches and burned and killed and tortured. And she said there's a list of them at the city museum. As a matter of fact, there was sort of like a witch, witch catcher. Disappointing it is. It's from the 13th but right century. Next to the church today, there is the Croatian Parliament, the central political Croatian institution Parliament. of the country. Croatian government house. Nine and that's the city hall. Architects work on the reconstruction of this church as well. And they were the ones who suggested to put this colorful roof on the top. That black animal is a kuna, a mink or a marten. And in the old days, that's what they used for money. They would trade the minks for money. They eventually named the Croatian money the kuna after that. This is a picture of a kuna on the back of a 20. Blue is a Croatian color, which is why the trams are all painted blue. Everything is blue. One day it's winter, like 
Strassmeyer Promenade was the city's first public walkway. It's a leafy promenade with benches, chestnut trees, and wonderful vistas of the city below. I shared the bench with the statue of the great Croatian writer Anton Gustav Matos. This is all the original part of the town in the 1300s. Here goes a little tiny funicular. It's considered the shortest funicular in the world. Is a whopping 64 second ride. It has linked the lower and upper towns since 1890. There's a little cannon up there that is supposed to shoot off at noon to let everybody know it's 12 o'clock, but there's another earthquake and now it doesn't work anymore. So much for the cannon. Now, uh, here we often use the word pencala for pens or pencils or whatever, mainly because of the name of this man here. Mm. Pencala was an inventor, and he is the one that invented the fountain pen, which already has the ink inside. He also invented the mechanic. But he was the one that invented a transformator, which would now transfer the alternate current to long distances in a very it was very powerful. So after he made a lot here, he and he had a city speech in the city council here lights. in the old town. So we are. And there are still two hundred gas lamps that are lit between four and seven p.m. here in the old town. So it was actually back in the nineteenth century, Ivan Vucetic. Croatian man who lived in Argentina, uh, who actually discovered this and said, discovered we should do this. It's very tricky. But uh, there is another man uh, here in position who invented the first parachute. So, in a way, Mr. Zeppelin took Mr. Schwartz's patent or design and got all the credit. 